Hello everyone, welcome to Claro Beauty. You're here with your host, Claudia Lara. Thank you very much for tuning in. So today we are gonna try a couple of things that I'm excited about as usual. Um, because, all right, where do I start? It's because there's two things. So one, I mean, there's several items, but I divided it in two categories. So one category, which probably will start and it's not new, it's new to my collection, is the Pat McGrath Concealer. Finally, finally. So much fuzz about it is the best of best that your under eyes look amazing and flawless and cure. So I'm very curious about that. And second, I if you've been with me, you know that I just discovered uh the brand patrick ta i bought a couple of his uh, blushes and i just love it and so i kept wanting to get the newest shade which is uh what's it called um she's blushing and so it keep being out of stock in sephora out of stock in sephora so i finally end up going directly to his website which is available and so i got the new shade Plus, I got the bronzer, plus I got a lipstick, plus I got his brush, you know. So now I'm very excited about trying them all. Mm -hmm. And uh, so those are kind of the two categories. So if you're interested in on those, keep on watching. Now, what do I have on my face already? So I have my skincare and uh, I put a little bit of the foundation, Clé de Peau, uh, on this side under my eyes. I'm talking about this baby. And I applied it all over my face very lightly, very lightly, but I did not apply it under my eye here. So I applied it all the way here. And here I did apply it above. I mean, can you see a difference? A little bit, tiny bit. This foundation is very light, that's why I love it. But I did cover some of my red, etc. So and the reason I left one completely with nothing is because I want to try this concealer. Now, I did not apply um, eye cream. I did apply my moisturizer, but uh, it, when I use concealer, I definitely add some eye cream. I think it's very important, especially for this kind of concealer, which is a little more coverage or a little more finished look instead of natural and all of this. However, I wanted to see how it performs without it. So we'll keep that note. And you know that sometimes I go to the next video and then I will try it with the eye cream. So it's not just once that I try the products. All right. So the first uh, interesting fact, because uh, I got the, the packaging of Pat McGrath. So I got the powder, which they say this concealer with the powder is amazing. So I got the powder, I got the brush, and I got the concealer. The interesting part is, um, well, first, this is how it comes, and it comes always with this sort of thing. So let's pull them out, out of the package. I put a little plate so I can put them in there. I actually save them in a plastic bag, and I'm collecting. They have all types of colors. What would I do with it? Who knows? Maybe I can come up with a little piece of art sometimes. All right, so... Uh, so here's the powder. Now, the first thing that I got the translucent, the clear one, because then they have a, a light, a medium, and a darker with shade. I guess it helps cover. But I just got the clear one. And But this is the surprise. So this is the box that comes with the brush. Look at the size of the brush. Uh, I, I don't know. I just thought it was going to be more like this size. And I just find it to be sort of small. Uh, I mean, I don't know what I can compare. So this is a regular size refer, and then this is the size of the thing. So it's just a little tiny bit. I guess I have here another uh, concealer brush, like this Trish Mecca Buy that I said it was very good for concealing purposes. And so it's also a smaller size. Trish Mecca um, they're also sort of small in the handle. So I guess it's almost there. Obviously, it's a lot thicker. Look at this difference. Um, so this is, look how beautiful. Oh yeah. So very short kind of hairs. 
but it is small. I mean, I guess it's more precise, right? I mean, it makes sense. I don't know if you would apply the powder with this. That's a good question. I do have another fluffier to make it very light, but we'll see. All right. So doo -doo -doo -doo. I got number five, L5. Apparently in foundation, I'm L6. And so I got the concealer uh, one lighter. So this will be L6, L5. I don't know. I mean, to tell you the truth, I'm more tempted to go with the sponge. I'm not a very big uh, brush, but let's see. All right, well, it looks gorgeous. It definitely looks very nice. Now, I guess I need to hurry and put the powder on. Uh, so I don't know if I should use the same uh, brush or I will just use a Wayne Goss, very fluffy, soft. I'm just gonna plop, plop, there's enough. more well the concealer looks flawless it is very very nice right then of course it seems logical that you need to apply the pomegranate foundation you know because it'll match perfectly on the tones and the coverage, and I can see how this could be a flawless look. Now, you know me, I'm more into the natural. I don't wanna mess with heavy duty or uncomfortable foundations. So I don't think I will order the, um, the Pat McGrath uh, foundation. I don't know it. So I'm just gonna apply it a little bit more of the foundation, Clé de Peau. Um, which is not some of the newest that they have come up with. See, I always use the spatula and then here from the palm. It's not one of the newest with the new technology and all that, but I think it's good enough for me. Um, I do like the Pat McGrath brush. I thought that was uh, very useful. It applied nicely. I like the, the size. And I like that you kind of press it like I'm doing now with this. So I will have to try it, apply it with my finger and see the difference. But, but uh, I did that at the store, at Sephora, and I do not prefer it with the brush, but I will have to do it here. I think that's good enough, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think my face looks uh, prepared enough, but very, very light and natural. And the fact that I use that concealer will definitely make me a lot younger because, you know, covering the under, that's why we do it, right? All right, so, so far we accomplished that part. I do like the product, of course, all the fuss is true. Uh, so, what did I get? Bronzer, let's start with the bronzer. I got medium. I really think I could be light, you know, which is, uh, softer shade this is a little dark but because of the summer I've been in this darker sort of you know like the Gucci this reddish more stronger but the light one is is sort of that kind of light coffee and milk like very light and so I guess for the winter or just with a soft uh, sort of uh, look will be nice However, all Patrick Talk colors are kind of bold. So I just thought he needed a little more bold. Now, I did get his brush. It was not very expensive. I'm guessing it's synthetic. And of course, I tried it yesterday. That's why it looks a little dirty. Although the, the um, kind of hairs did have a little bit of, so I guess it's a mix because there's a little color in it. It's not just completely white. I don't know if it's a mix or it's just how he likes to stain it a little bit for decoration purposes. Of course, the handle is beautiful and thick and nice. These are sort of short and concise. I'm very, I was very surprised 
So let's try it here together. I tried it very fast and easy yesterday. So not necessarily trying to apply it correctly. We'll see if this works now trying to apply it correctly. Now the interesting part, hmm, I wanna try something and then we'll try the other side, but uh, I wanna try a very soft first with the powder. Now he recommends powder first, cream second for a bolder, more striking look. So let me just, I'm gonna try here the powder with a softer brush. So even though it's medium, it seems enough color, right? Soft, nice color. I think the other one was gonna be a lot softer. And like I said, less red, more that coffee and milk sort of color. All right, so now on the other side, I'm going to try, should I try the cream? or just the same, but with a brush? Oh, this is a good question. Mm, mm, mm. I'll try the cream on the other side. So you see which one looks better when you apply the cream first or when you apply the powder first. Then we can try the, the brush in a different way, I guess. I'll try it in the forehead. So right now I'm trying the cream powder not cream powder the cream part this one hmm. Hmm. obviously more diffuse but how about the color hmm well I'm applying a little bit more. So this is the cream and this is the powder. Now let's apply some of the cream over here. I'm applying it first a little bit lower and then on top of it. Wow, striking. What do you guys think? Let's apply a little bit of the powder over here. Now let's apply a little bit of the powder with this, that touch of the Nona, right down my nose, a little bit. I never do this because I really don't like my nose this way. I don't think it does anything, but I don't know. I just felt like it, like I need a little bit of more disperse of the bronzer. Like almost if I wanted to do something like bronze me out which i need a bigger brush that's why i love this one i'm bronzing because i can do this and it just spreads a little bit more of the product but you can see so this cream then powder and this powder then cream yeah you see the boom that's what it does the difference of of what you apply first and what you apply second. So this is more traditional, right? This is more what I'm used to, but this is the boom that we want. And now that we're gonna do uh, the blush, let's see. Now, the interesting part here is since I apply powder and then cream, I mean, I apply the cream, then the powder, and it's not on like this side, what I heard you can do is then apply the powder on top of it. And I'm gonna use the brush. I mean the cream, why? Well, I'm applying both again, 
double. I'm using such a little product. So I apply the powder and now I'm applying the cream. And you know, I met a good friend a couple of days ago that I hadn't seen for years. And she had her daughter with her, which is another makeup enthusiast, but she's 18. And you know, uh, youngsters always know a lot more than we do and what's trending, what's new. And what she said is that this was no longer so much in style, that the style now was to put the bronzer here, mm -hmm, there, kind of a, a point there. And what I have seen the trend is not only a point there, but kind of making a line down to, to, to make like a skeleton scenario. You see that? So we're trying a little bit. <laughs> Maybe it'll look like mustard. I don't think I'm doing it right, but that's one of the trends. What can I tell you? All right, we'll see. Um, all right, so we're going to go with the blush. I don't think I'm going to use this. I do like the brush. It's very concise, but it's very precise. I don't think I'm very good at that kind of precision, but if you are and you like that precision and very marked, I think this is great. Especially, let's say I was not using a bronzer. I was just using the, the, the blush. Perhaps it was gonna be even better because let's say I bronzed out, you know, all over the face. I don't know, some of you do that. And then you wanna kind of mark a little bit. I think that brush has a utilization for it getting used to it a little bit too. So now this is the blush and I will, let's swatch it first for you. So here are the swatches. This is the cream and this is the powder. All right, so this is the powder, this is the cream. This is the powder with the cream and this is the cream with the powder. It sort of does make a difference. This one, which is the cream and then the powder makes it a little dark. So I guess you can use that as a contour. And then this, which that was the powder and then the cream, like he suggests, look at the vibrancy and the color. Yeah, so th there is a difference even in swatching. Um, so let me do the powder and then the cream, like he suggests, and as a blush, whoa. All right, a little too much, whoops. All right. Lighter. Lighter. <laughs> okay, I need to buff this baby up with a cleaner brush. Wow, some color, baby. And we're going to apply a little bit of the cream. Not that this side needs so much more. All right, this side is much better done, I think. But this is how sometimes he does it with his models, right? Like very, very, boom. Now, I, I will equalize both in one second, but this is, you know, just hear me out, hear me out. So he has one of the best of best, now where is it? Oh my God, don't tell me I left it in my purse because I've been loving it. That is the Patrick Ta gloss, the lip gloss. All right, so I'm back with, this is the uh, Patrick Ta, oh, I can't read it, but I'll write it down below. But this is the, gloss and I think this is amazing.
Look at that. Don't tell me this doesn't look amazing. Mm-hmm. Now this side. Mm-hmm. Now, which side do you like better? More subtle or I'm really out there? So I'm trying to decide because so this is more subtle. Looks nice. And then more. Mm. Let me take this gloss out because I'm going to try the lipstick. You're gonna like this, it's a bold lipstick. All right, I'm back. <laughs> now don't get scared. <laughs> this is the lipstick, of course it's beautiful, square with the reflective. Look at this. I don't know if you saw my little shore when I was in Sephora that I saw this pink and I said I was interested. Why well, didn't buy it then? But then I got home and ordered all these goodies and I ordered it. Now I was very curious to compare it to the Lisa Eldridge. So we're gonna do that now. But let me apply it on my lips first. Mmm. Okay, girls, this is a lovely, lovely, lovely pink. Seriously, I mean, beautiful is Mate, but it does something. Now here's with the bold look, and here's with the lighter look. Um, and so I wanna finish up the look, and then we're gonna do some swatches. So what I wanna do is I wanna take some of the bronzer and I'm just gonna take an um, eye brush, this is Sonia G, and I'm just gonna do my crease here a little bit. What is I could have just used Jean from Charlotte Tilbury in my lid, but since we're Patrick Ta, I'm pulling out her major dimensions too, and let's see what I find. Well, mm, I'm just gonna apply a tiny, just gonna apply a tiny bit of the lightest color with my finger. I'm just looking to, oh yeah, it gives that little pinky sort of nice shade. So my eyelids don't look totally bare. They look a little softer. Oh yeah, looks beautiful. Just with the leftover in my finger, I'm applying there. So I'm gonna apply my mascara and we'll be right back to do some swatches. So I am back and I'm gonna equalize both sides. I just wanted you to see the more subtle, sort of familiar way of doing makeup. And the more I think Patrick Ta intends this to, very mm, out there, look how beautiful. So let me just equalize and we'll go with the swatches. So I am back with this beautiful radium bowl summer look. Love Patrick Ta. I just have to uh, raise my vibration to it, <laughs> you know, to really go out there this, I don't know if radiant, this happy, this bold, this owning it. I mean, could we do it? Imagine I still had my black hair. That would be striking. I mean, if I say so myself. But, as promised, some swatches. Here is the Patrick Ta. Um, I guess it's called True to Self, if I remember correctly. Oh, no, she's hard to get. Mmm, I'm liking it even more. <laughs> so, yeah, we're having fun, yeah. <laughs> this is Carnival, so Rainbow Spill. 
how was it? Rainbow Spill, Carnival, and Patrick Touch is hard to get. So this seems a little more orange. In uh, When you apply, it looks more fluorescent, like uh, tending 80s, but obviously 2020. Uh, this one is definitely more in the pink shade, but it just looks unique, amazing, lively, feminine. And then there's this that tends more towards the red. Now, uh, Lisa Etrus has a rose. Is it rose? Let me go and get it. All right, so I got Lisa Eldridge Rose Official. It's, it's more a uh, milder color. It's this one. I just thought perhaps if you combine this two, you might get a little bit like that. But no, this is this Patrick Ta color is a very unique color. I mean, let's, I'm going to swatch this too. I have here the Tom 4. Nope, this is Tom Four Rose Rougier, which was a limited edition. I don't know if it's still available, but that's this one. I really like it, but it has a little more berry. And then there is the Chanel, totally different type, totally different type of lipstick all together and, and vibe and look. But I'm just curious. That would be this one. That is the Chanel Passion Pink from La Posa. Not at all compared to Patrick Ta. So, so far, nothing of my collection really comes close. Love it. So, girls, and he has, uh, Patrick Ta has another shade that I was very tempted. I showed them both in that other video, which is more kind of burgundy, uh, darker, but it has some berry in it that is beautiful. And now that I tried this, I probably will get that other one. I just think they are gorgeous. Look at that. Definitely for this kind of ramp up look, but I love it. Let me know your thoughts on this. So please subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so, please ring the bell in the right hand corner. Please write down below, thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Obviously, look at that concealer. I think it looks amazing, flawless, definitely appropriate for the look of bold cheeks and lips. So right up my alley. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.